welcome to us in the series of videos on topology we are looking at compact spaces and this is our video number 63 in this series okay you can check the playlist now in this video let us talk about totally bounded metric spaces totally bounded metric spaces Okay, so we will divide this into two parts. First, we will uh, see the definition and two examples, and then we will uh, have some results. Okay, and then we will go for the next topic, which is locally compact spaces. All right, so let's have a definition of this totally bounded matrix space. So, a matrix space, first of all, a matrix space, matrix space, say X is called totally bounded totally bounded if you take any epsilon greater than 0 so if for all epsilon greater than 0 for all epsilon greater than 0 you take any epsilon greater than 0 there exist there exist finitely many epsilon balls finitely many epsilon balls means ball around some points of radius epsilon so finite number of points are there and ball around that those points are of radius epsilon right say say ball around say x1 of radius epsilon ball around say x2 of radius epsilon same radius right ball around say x3 of radius epsilon likewise we have finite numbers right so ball around say xn of radius epsilon covering x so you should be able to find finite number of epsilon balls which will cover x then x is called a totally bounded matrix space so this means that is this x will be contained inside in fact we can write equal but x is contained inside union i from 1 to n finite number of them ball around x i of radius epsilon if we can do this then we say that this matrix space x is totally bounded okay now examples let us take two examples make this a short video let us talk about the compact space example let us take a compact space so if you have a compact space can we prove that can we prove that it is totally bounded okay so what i'm saying is can we say that every compact matrix space matrix space is totally bounded can you see this if yes why so and if no why so okay so the fact is if you can easily prove that every compact matrix space is totally bounded how let me uh, prove say proof so let us take a compact matrix say so let x be compact matrix space okay and let us take uh, some epsilon greater than 0 okay so let epsilon greater than 0 then <coughs> then if you take if you take not union if you take ball around x of radius epsilon this epsilon and your indexing set is x itself so you take any point 
all the points in x and you take the open balls of radius epsilon around those points so of course this will be an open core for x right then this is open cover for x and since x is compact this has a finite sub cover right so since <coughs> since x is compact there exist finite sub cover what does that mean this x is your indexing set and we have a finite sub cover means you will have some x1 x2 x3 up to xn such that x will be contained inside the union of these balls okay this implies like this some natural number belongs to n finite number such that such that this x will contain inside union i from 1 to n fall around xi of radius epsilon okay because this is compact this has a finite sub cover that means you will have some finite number of points in x let us write those points as x1 x2 up to xn such that this x will contain inside union of all those open balls and this is what we wanted to prove right we need to show that given epsilon greater than 0 we have finitely many epsilon balls covering x and we have done this so this implies this implies x is totally bounded sets because we have taken this epsilon greater than 0 we found finite number of epsilon balls which covers x so x is totally bounded okay so this uh, second question you can ask if we have a totally bounded metric space is it compact okay let me move further let us take another example <coughs> example we can show that every totally bounded space is bounded every totally bounded space bounded space is bounded right so of course Say uh, every totally bounded space, of course, this is every totally bounded matrix space. Okay, so we need to show that we have a totally bounded matrix space, we need to show that it is bounded. Let us prove this also. Proof. So let us take a matrix space which is totally bounded. So let X be totally bounded matrix space okay so since this is totally bounded matrix space let epsilon equals to 1 for this epsilon equals to 1 we have finite number of epsilon balls okay so for epsilon equals to 1 we have finite number of number of epsilon balls covering covering x that is we have finite number means x will be contained inside union say i from 1 to up to n ball around say xi of radius 1 okay we have finite number of epsilon balls of radius 1 okay so what we do is we let us take m let m is equals to maximum of distance between xi and xj so we have finite number of them say x1 up to xn we will take the maximum of the distance between these two Okay, arbitrary where 1 less than or equals to i comma j 
less than or equals to n. So let us take the maximum of it. Now what we have to show that it is bounded. Right? That means we need to show that distance between any two points in the metal space X is less than or equal to some fixed constant number. Okay, so this M may play a important role in this case. So let us show that now this X is bounded. And to show that X is bounded, let us write to show that X is bounded. And to show this X is bounded, let us take two points in X. So let X comma Y belongs to X. So x comma y belongs to x. That means we have this x will be inside the ball around x of radius one, and y will be inside ball around y of radius one. This implies x will belongs to ball around x of radius one, and y will belong to ball around y of radius one. Okay. Let us move now. So now distance. Between x and y, by using triangle inequality, this will be less than equals to distance between x and say x i plus distance between say x i and x j plus distance between x j and y. By using triangle inequality, of course. Okay. Now we know that the distance between x and x i is less than one. Okay. We know that distance between x i and x j is less than m, and we know that distance between x j and y is less than one. Okay. So uh, I think I have done some errors here. Let me let me just rectify. This x belongs to some balls. Okay, not this x, x and y. So x and y belongs to x, and x is contains that finite number of balls here. So let us take that x belongs to the ball around x i of radius one, and y belongs to the ball around the x j of radius one. Okay, it is not x i, x and y. It is x i and x j. So since x belongs to ball around x of x i of radius one. The distance between x and x i is equal to one, sorry, less than one. Y belongs to this means distance between x j and y is less than one. And already we know that distance between x i and x j is less than m because m is the maximum of the distance. Okay. Uh, even if we can write less than or equal to, it doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. So of course this is less than, so it will be strict inequality, and this will be equal to m. Plus. So what we have got is m plus two is a fixed number, constant number, such that distance between x and y is less than m plus two, and this implies this implies x is bounded. Okay. Now we can ask a question: If x is bounded, is it totally bounded? So if, if you take a metric space, you take a metric space. If if x is bounded, can you show that x is totally bounded? So I ask two questions. First is for the first example. The first example we proved that every compact we proved that every compact space is totally bounded. I ask if it is totally bounded, is it compact? And second, we proved that every totally bounded metric space is bounded. You can. Uh, can you can work out for showing that if it's bounded, whether it is totally bounded. Okay. If no, give a counter example. If yes, give a proof. So we can work on that. In the next video, we will see some results on this.